Today, up on the scenic slopes on the backside of Haleakala, it's another typical weekend roundup on the Pereira Ranch. With 15,000 acres and 4,000 head of cattle, there's plenty of work to be done on this ranch land in Kahiki Nui, Maui. Annette Niles is the real Paniolo of the family. She was raised on her dad's farm, this farm, and she knows all the ins and outs of this difficult lifestyle. Her family's been ranching this side of the mountain for the past 20 years, but it was this year that their way of cattle wrangling hit new heights. Now there are plenty of local ranches that use helicopters for driving cattle these days. On this ranch alone, there are thousands of acres to cover, and that could take days by horse or even motorcycle. But by air, it can be done in a fraction of the time, and it takes only a couple of people. The biggest problem these days isn't that there's so much area to cover. It's that some of these wild dogies here have strayed way up and off the Pereira land and onto state land. Some of these 1,200-pound monsters have been roaming around for years, and the state says if they're not removed from public land, they will be forced to eradicate them on the spot. However, since the bulls don't know what that means, they have no intention of leaving their favorite feeding grounds. It's too dangerous to go up with the horses and bring them down because they, they want to hook the horses. They don't want to come down. They fight us up there. So rather than getting hurt, we bring them down with the helicopter. So while Annette waits back at the truck, her husband Kimo and his close friend and pilot Tom prepare to bring some of these wayward trespassing cattle home by airmail. We got a stubborn bull one day that wouldn't go anywhere and tried to hook the helicopter with horns. And he kept jumping up trying to horn the helicopter. So Tom called me over and said, hey, let's try rope him on the horns. Kimo jumped out on the skid threw a rope on its horns and hauled him off. So from that day on, we did it. And we've been doing them since. Well, not all of these animals have horns. But they all have legs. And Tom and Kimo discovered that roping these steers by a foot doesn't hurt them at all. As soon as Kimo manages to get the rope nice and tight, it's up, up, and away for a quick ride back to the truck. Good time for Kimo and his furry friend to take in some of the breathtaking scenery. The chopper's coming, let's go. Yeah, come on. Yeah, you go. Oh, this is really exciting for the family. We come out here and we have a picnic and we wait for them to bring the bulls down and watch them bring them in and how they bring them in. It's lots of fun. Tom carefully lays them unharmed in the truck bed before unhooking them. And then it's up to Annette to see these wild critters don't hurt themselves. Kimo and Tom waste no time in heading back to the slope for another catch. Now, as you can imagine, roping and transporting a wild, mean 1,200-pound bull isn't the easiest thing in the world to do. It takes plenty of patience, a little bit of luck, and lots of teamwork. Tom positions me on the side of the animal, and I have my loop already made. And what I've noticed is the stride of the animal also. Sometimes it's good to make a big loop, sometimes it's not. What Tom does is turns them uphill, slows them down. But sometimes, you know, it's more difficult. Sometimes, you know, depends on the shot you got. of flying under his belt, this Vietnam vet is a well-known pilot in the islands. Now, he's had all sorts of flying adventures in Hawaii, but this is one of the strangest and also one of the most challenging for him. When you see this nasty bull there that's not going anywhere for anybody, and uh, they won't even move for the helicopter. They'll just sit there and defy and jump up and try to horn the helicopter. There's no other way they can be handled. You just hover over them, drop a rope over their head, pick them up, and they become like angels instantly. 
and within a couple of minutes, they're in the truck. Pop is the best I've ever seen, and I wouldn't do it with nobody else, and I, I built up enough confidence where when I go on there with Tom, there's no fear anymore. By the end of the day, the truck is full, the family's happy, and they've retrieved about a dozen bulls. It's not the old way of doing it, but it sure seems to work pretty well. A lot of the cowboys, the old timers and stuff, they, they couldn't believe it. I had one cowboy came last week, and uh, he told me, he came up to me after we roped the first one, he came up, shook our hands, and said, seeing is believing. Absolutely true. Seeing is believing. I never would have guessed a cow could fly, but now because of Maui's helicopter Paniolos, it appears they can. Mm -hmm.